Thanks for tuning in to my brand new Minecraft series. After a long hiatus, I'm ready to jump into more blocky action with 101 new ideas. Thanks for rocking with me all year long and enjoy the series. So it's a new day. I actually slept and now I'm ready to reapproach Minecraft and not lose and not die in the stronghold. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you what I did off camera, which is I ended up tracing back where the stronghold was and marking off more clearly the path from here to the stronghold. So now that we have our unnamed horse friend, uh, we're going to go and just I'm going to show you what exactly that area looks like there. So what you need to do, I need to more center myself here. Here we go. I need, I need to be more like there. Okay, good. So I marked it off with like two torches each time. That way you get an idea of where I need to go. So that way I don't get lost. I don't, you know, try to go off the path or whatever. So basically the first step is to get over to the town here, this specific town here. Then the path kind of uh, branches off. So basically what happened was well, after realizing afterward, a a as I took an objective look at what was actually happening here. So that way is where, like toward the right side here, is where we went in order to find the bees. But where the stronghold is, is actually over this way. So I, cl I super clearly marked it off. So there's no way I can get lost. There's no way that you can miss it. It's all this way. And what I would have loved to have done, which I'm kind of surprised Minecraft hasn't done this actually, is, and I'm going to mark some more off here, just so I have a very clear path, is they don't have any, like, different colored torches or anything like that. It's all the same color torch. So, I don't know why they didn't maybe do something like that or make a different type of identifier or something, but, I mean, that's fine. So, yeah, now you can see, like, this kind of looks familiar, right? There's those ice pillar looking things over there and then we have the town over toward this way my name is also brian saviano aka bricks o'brien uh we're going after the stronghold i'm just going to grab the resources i basically did this the whole way through because <clears throat> i had some torches laid down but it wasn't like close enough together so i would low-key kind of get lost but not really so i'm just gonna place them all through this way here and uh, I do have an objective other than, see, boom, right here. So these two towns are officially connected. I'd love to connect them via a, uh, maybe a minecart system eventually, but that's not something I want to do right now. That's not like on the radar. That's not like one of the main things I want to do, you know? So let's see if I can, there we go. I wanted to hop off the horse that way there. So now that these two are connected, we have a direct line of communication to the stronghold over here which is fantastic so this is the the winning house right here okay so there is the water like i said before you crouch and go all the way down you can grab some air there if you wanted to and then boom there's really no way that you can get out of this and die i pretty much made it so you can't die so that's good now i'll get rid of all these cobwebs because obviously i don't need them anymore and we can grab all the diamond and whatnot that was in here as well. So ideally what I want to do is make this into a full base. So this whole library here will turn into basically a second home. So when I go to defeat the Ender Dragon eventually, when we have enough stuff going on, I can actually do that and respawn right here instead of back at my home. So now that that's all clear, cool. And I'll kind of clean this up eventually. That's not what I want to do. But not right now, at least. So I don't know what the point of this episode is. You probably will figure it out already. But we got all our stuff here. Um, you know what it'll be? It'll be to make a, uh, a study. That's something I wanted to do before. But it turns out I didn't have any resources for it. But now I do. So now I actually can't get back up this way because I don't have the water going all the way to the top. It's ever so slightly uh, not quite there. So... Uh, I don't know if I'd actually make it either, so this is going to be uh, very interesting here. So why don't I do this real quick? That way I can have a way to get out of here. Cool. All right, so 
I guess what I'll do is make a small area for me to get up. I'm going to go, first of all, let's light this up. That way you can actually see what's going on. Because I can see, but you can't see. So eventually, I'll get all this straightened away. So it's a much easier path to get down to where we need to go. But yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do from the very beginning. Until I died and did that whole thing there. Yeah, so cool. Alright, so that is the official pathway down. Hear ye, hear ye. Here is the path. You go down here, don't hit your head on any of this stuff, and then boom, there you go. Okay, clear this out. I hate hitting my head when walking downstairs. I mean, in real life too, but also in Minecraft. You gotta you got have proper head clearance here. There we go. All right, cool. So that's all taken care of. We got all the resources we needed before, and now we just go back. So I will skip ahead until I actually get back because I feel like uh, it's not quite as interesting going all the way back as I did because I already showed you how to get from point A to point B there so boom just gonna do that that way I can hop on there and we can luckily hop out of the stable just like that too bam so ooh, le these lanterns I want to make actually can I take one of these da, 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 da. wait hold on hold on hold on is it that no is it this yes it is cool so a lantern that's pretty sweet can I attach that to you that would be really cool that'd be dope if I could but yeah no definitely not Okay, uh, my, my dreams have been shattered, unfortunately, and yes, you can mine stuff through your horse's head, so cool. Um, yeah, there's no way for me to do that, right? That, that would be super, super cool if I could do that, uh, but no. Okay, cool. So yeah, I will head back over toward uh, the actual house, and we will get to work on that study. So let me see if I can actually find my way back. Wait, wait, it's over. I need to more clearly mark. Okay, yeah, it's over this way. Okay, over the hill, through this way here, past here. Yeah, cool. All right, I know where I'm going, I think, I hope. So it was really at the point of the last series where I made that tower where the enchantment table and all that was is when I knew that I wasn't happy with the layout of the town and what I was doing, or not even the town, just like the house and what I was doing there. So I cleared this out over here for our next project, which... You probably may have already seen. If not, then it'll stay a surprise. But yeah, we'll leave that for now. I don't know where I want to build this magical library of sorts. But I do have plenty of cobblestone to work with. Uh, what I tried to do up here... I also made that little pen for the horse, obviously. Unnamed horse number one for now. I haven't thought of a name yet. We, I will eventually. But I tried to make a device where I could like grab bees and like put them into here into one holding area than another because otherwise when you open the door they try to leave so can't let the bees do that so uh first of all let me dump this stuff here just in case i happen to die which i don't believe i will but uh luckily we don't need any cow which is great uh we just need to have the uh planks to do so which obviously we do I'm going to grab these books right here, and I'll show you. You can make a uh, bookcase. So we can make six bookshelves out of there. So that's already a great start. So I think that this whole thing, the uh, study, if you will, will be made out of cobblestone, if I can actually put that in my inventory like a normal human being. Fantastic. Uh, that's going to be what I do. And I'm not going to put that in the spot where I cleared out before. That's going to be something else. I don't know where else I could possibly go. Um, I want to make sure things in the town are relatively spread out. That way things can just have room to breathe. I don't want to have to cramp everything together. Uh, not everything needs to be, you know, on top of each other in the same, like, area, direction, whatever. So, and I think something that might be boring. I don't know how well it'll go. I don't know what, how I'll do it, if I'll speed it up or just edit together what it looks like but I want to make pathways and stuff that way you can more easily access everything around here so I I want to go with something over here I feel like this area I feel like could use a little bit a little bit of love over toward this way I think uh, obviously nothing is going to grow over here so maybe this little area right here because we are going to have probably smaller farms as well as a bigger like mass produced farm area so uh, I also need to repair this pickaxe. This is not going to last much longer. So I got to prioritize that as well. Although it has efficiency, which is great, it's not quite uh, what we need right now. So uh, 
<clears throat> wow, the frog is still in the throat, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that uh, everything was cleared out with my throat. I mean, it, it pretty much is, you know. Uh, I got a hot chocolate from Dunks, and it did not hit the spot, unfortunately. It's very uh, unpredictable what the brew of the hot chocolate will be. Will it actually be something that is uh, flavorful? Will it be watered down? Will it be highly caffeinated? Will it just be kind of whatever? You know, we don't we don't really know. It's just a it's a 50-50 situation. Not even a 50-50. It's like a I don't know, like a it's like a 70-30 really for like how good a lot of it is a lot of the time. It's not really that great, you know. But when it is good, it's really good. So I'm like, "Huh, you know, maybe I should try something else for uh you know, hot chocolate, but there's really nothing else. Because otherwise I can't make, you know, proper hot chocolate in my... Oh, there's a cat! Oh, he's... Oh, I thought he was stuck. Okay. Well, I take an orange cat eventually. Garfield. Well, Gar... Garf... Garfolomule? Gar... Garfunk? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna leave him be for now. Maybe we will find more cats eventually. I believe we will, but not right now, so... Uh, this here can be broken via a pickaxe, right? Yes, it can. Cool. Okay. Uh, I have dirt, which is good. Uh, that thing is basically a containment thing for water, right? What is that? That is a composter. Don't know what a composter does, so I will learn that eventually. But for now, I'm going to clear this area. I'm just going to skip ahead till I clear this area out, because I feel like it's going to be kind of boring. So I got to make a shovel and do that whole thing, so... Uh, yeah, let me do that real quick. Quick and easy way to get rid of all the stuff in the area. Toss down a bucket of water, clears everything right out. Any snow, any sort of other stuff. Yeah, that's a great way to do that. So, um, all of these snowballs we actually need to make into uh, snow blocks, which get these other arrow arrows. I don't care about those. Uh, the snow balls are definitely going to be useful for me. With the future thing I'm going to do, which you can probably already guess together what uh, it's going to be. But I'm just going to keep that there for the sake of the suspense of the situation here. And clearly I don't have enough inventory room. So that's awesome too. So I'm going to make a chest real quick just because I don't feel like walking over to wherever I need to go. So cool. There we go. Do this. That. The lantern is really cool, man. I need to... Still figure out how exactly to do that. We'll toss that in there. Anything we don't really need to make the actual structure, I'm going to toss in here. Yeah, there we go. That that looks good. So, yeah, just pop over here, grab all the snow blocks, grab all this stuff, because obviously you may not think that we will need stuff like this, or you may need stuff like this, but eventually you will. So having that inventory thing over on the right side there is probably, or the left side rather, it's probably the, one of the biggest and best changes that I've seen to Minecraft. You can just instantly, like, boop, there we go, done. And then it's all, literally all done there. It's fantastic. So that, and then boom, we almost have a full entire stack of that right there. So, actually, can I look up how to make a lantern? Let's see. Uh, L-A-N, lantern. That is, oh, that's not that bad. It's a torch with iron nuggets. And then, obviously, with an iron nugget, if we uh, back out of here, you can see that boom there we go wait nope there we go uh you get nine iron nuggets from one little ingot there so you definitely have plenty of lanterns to make so that's definitely the aesthetic i'm going to go with uh going forward for more structures and whatnot so uh, in terms of the pathways and stuff this is the path right here so it goes all the way through this section here uh what i can tell is that this is the entrance to the town because of the two campfires here so i think it'd be cool to have the actual uh, structure start right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a single story thing. I know before I tried to implement the uh, nether portal being on top of the um, the enchantment table. I don't think I'm gonna do that. That's just another dimension to this whole thing here. I don't know how to make this material though. I, I am not aware on how to do that. So yeah. Uh, so I want this entrance to be I don't know if I want to make it one wide or three wide. I feel like I want it to be an open area just because. So I'm going to, like, I don't want to make a doorway necessarily. So I'm going to make it three wide. Uh, so the path goes this way. And now you get uh, a bit of an insight 
into the mind of uh, Bricks O'Brien when it comes to uh, this sort of stuff here. So obviously got to clear this stuff out. And if the water is close to an edge, then it'll lean toward the edge and kind of sift its way off. So you got to be careful about that, making sure that, uh, you know, it's more centered into the area that you're at. That way you can actually uh, get to where you need to go. So a little bit off the path here. That's great. I'm assuming that there's going to be a lantern like right. Well, I wanted to attach to the wall. So we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay. And then boom. No. Oh, it, it has to sit on uh, uh, the ground there. Okay. I thought it could attach to the wall, but okay. Never mind. Uh, the enchantment table we can actually grab if I didn't already put it away. It looks like I did. Oops. Okay. So uh, this thing here is going to be our enchantment table, and it's going to be right there. So the entirety of the bookshelves are going to surround it in this way. So one, two, three. One, two, three. It's basically so that you can walk around it, but it surrounds it. So I believe that is the full enchantment area so all of these are going to be bookshelves right here and then they go three high so let's pretend that these are all bookshelves that way i know what exactly i'm planning for here and obviously don't want to have the trees here because that would be problematic but yeah cool so it's gonna kind of look like that and i want some clearance around the sides and so basically i'm going to make the structure here and then i'm going to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing that way it's not just like a box because i think because minecraft is inherently just a bunch of blocks you're half tempted all the time to make things that are blocks and nothing else so i want to make sure oh it's three clearance here okay cool so one two three okay so it's going to go out toward here uh, you want to make sure that things aren't just all boxes everywhere you want to have a good uh, variety when it comes to the architecture of your structures and all that sort of stuff okay so one two three it's gonna go all the way down here get a new fat stack of cobble okay get that fat cobble over here that's the the new phrase i guess big fat stacks of cobblestone you heard all right cool so that's what's gonna be uh now uh, what I'm going to do is probably have some of, like, this wood. I, I want it to kind of blend in in a good way with the environment here. So let's light this up. That way no enemies spawn nearby, at least for right now. Boom and boom. Okay, cool. Good enough. These trees might be cleared out eventually, but that's fine. So I think because there is something attached to each of these leaves right here, that means that it will not despawn. Because obviously there's no wood attached to this here. So I want to get rid of this. Because that's just going to keep on getting in the way. And now for another project, eventually that'll do. I should be shearing these. That way I can have the actual leaf blocks. But I, th clearly, as you can see, by the forest surrounding us, there's no shortage of actual leaves anywhere around here. So I'm not particularly worried about that one either. Cool. And I'll worry about the other... Um, the snow afterward. That's not uh, on the concerns for right now. So, yeah, after last night, it was... I, I was so aggravated, but then, like, amazed that I actually got the stronghold and found it. Like, I, I couldn't believe that it was that easy. Like, I, I was walking around probably for, like, 25, 30 minutes just trying to find my way back and... I didn't have a compass or anything, which is obviously what we ended up doing, but it ended up being very productive, and I was very happy with it, but, you know, still, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the way I would have, oh, there's a walking sound when you're on the lantern, that's pretty cool, uh, it obviously isn't ideally what I wanted, but, you know, it, uh, it ended up working out in the end, which, you know, that's all you can hope for, man, you know, you just gotta see what happens when you, you get lost, you gotta find your way get back to where you once belonged and, uh, you know, do that. Um, I'm going to go with this. Uh, you might notice that a lot of my design choices might be repetitive. So, like, I've done this before where I've had, like, the wood on the sides here. Um, I need to, like, kind of experiment and reinvent myself when it comes to, like, designing structures and in Minecraft and all that. So... 
I, I just, I don't know. I've done the same thing for so long that now it's like, all right, when I try to actually make something different here. Oh, hi. Oh, this is going to run out soon. Okay, I should not be using this to destroy a zombie, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really should be trying new sorts of things. But um, I feel like I'm going to go into, like, creative mode and fig- Okay, nice. I'm going to go into creative mode and try to figure out what exactly it is I need to do to just, you know, figure new things out, you know? Try out some new stuff. I gotta get inspired by other people who have made stuff as well. That's probably part of it as well. I haven't, like, taken a good look at other things people have built recently, so I gotta get inspired from that way, too. I mean, maybe you get inspired by, you know, what I'm doing here, which you could, but if anything, I, I wish to let you know about is, like, the way that things can be designed in Minecraft, you know? Like, you want to make sure they're... Like, I don't I don't like having everything being two blocks high because, like, it just doesn't... You know, when you walk into your house, it's not like the ceiling is right here, you know? So I try to do stuff that will make sense architecturally, I guess, if that's how I want to word that there. Make things symmetrical if I can or if I want to. So I'm going to make this two wide there, two wide there. Cool. So there's going to be two windows right here right even if they are facing like the outside or the yeah they're gonna face the outside obviously but even if they face like you know the forest like that's fine like i'm not concerned about the view of behind the bookshelves of this area here you know so we'll have this be like this and then yeah we'll just do that again <clears throat> okay cool so now you're starting to see what I want to do here. So I want to make sure that the other side is symmetrical. Let's And symmetrical, in case you don't know, means the same on both sides. So that's going to be what I do. One, two, and then that. And then, oh, it's what? One, two, three? No, it's just two. Okay. Oops. See? Even I got to make sure I'm doing the right thing a lot of the time. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then, boom, there we go. 